Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I'm continuing my flight in the SR-71 Blackbird around the world and we are currently at Venice where I am planning to take off and then fly a little bit north and out of our way to Vienna and then to Budapest and then down to Athens. So the whole flight will be about a thousand miles so it's not that long uh, but again we'll be sort of sightseeing and we'll get another chance to get a uh, little taste of the Alps except this time it'll be the Austrian Alps, not the Swiss Alps. And, uh, well, I've turned on the real-world weather, so it is downloading that every 15 minutes, and it seems a little bit stormy, and the, that apparently produces little puffs with our exhaust, so that's interesting. We're going to try and fly over Venice, uh, make one more pass, hopefully get a closer look at the canals, and then we will move on. So here we go, throttle up brakes off. I don't know, maybe there were puffs previously or this is the first flight I've really noticed them. Our visibility is about 11 statute miles so not great. And so we'll want to stay low and relatively slow in order to do our sightseeing. But not too slow, otherwise we're going to stall. I wish there was a locked view. Uh, I, I think there might be. There are a lot of views that I just don't have on uh, little keys. So, yeah. I need to... there are a lot of bindable keys in this program. Lots and lots. In fact, I don't think I have enough keys to bind all of them. I'm pretty sure there are various camera views that are like locked and maybe some of the more cinematic camera views that I'm looking for. Uh, I need to explore all the possibilities here. Now we don't seem to be getting uh, 3D buildings on the photo scenery, so what you're seeing, gonna see is the the actual photo scenery, and that's that's sort of good, but it's not as impressive, I think, as if uh, we had 3D buildings. But then again, they probably put the wrong buildings on anyway, because it's auto gen, automated automatically generated buildings. Anyway, here's Venice. This is the actual island of Venice. You can see the main canal there. And basically, uh, there are streets, but there are a lot of canals to get around. And that's the port facility there. I think there's a basilica on one side, and then a big channel where there are a lot of ships on the other side. We'll c come back around since we have to go the other way anyway. Okay, let me not throw it off. Actually, you can see, if you can see the streaky lines, that's rain. So, we do have rain out here right now. I wonder if it affects performance at all. I mean, not my frame rates, but the plane's performance. Okay, here we go again. Venice in front of us there. Lots of other little islands here, too. There's some... some 3D buildings there. Yeah, there are some. Oh, yeah, uh, it's not just... it's just not generating all of them. It's not bad. Maybe it gets confused by the trees or something. Okay, well, we are going to continue on to Vienna. Okay, we are currently accelerating and passing by the edge of the Adriatic Sea here uh, next to Slovenia. And we should probably turn a little bit further north if we want to make it to Vienna. Unfortunately, we can't see very much here right now. Uh, so Trieste is right here, I think. Uh, no. Um, uh, maybe... no? 
somewhere here is Trieste on the Adriatic. Well, we can see some mountain peaks, but we can't really uh, enjoy the Alps. These are the Alps, but we can't really enjoy them like this. Okay, I believe this is Vienna right here. Uh, on my map, there's a lake nearby, but I, uh, on another map, not this map. But I don't think I can see that in particular. So we are descending. I'm going to throttle down. And we'll try to get a good look at it. Too bad about the Alps, though. Couldn't really see them. Okay, so we are descending, and hopefully somewhere the clouds stop, and also, you know, don't cause my game to crash. Um, Vienna, and then uh, Bratislava and Slovenia, and then Budapest in Hungary are just about 150 miles apart, so once we get below the clouds, I'll try and cruise below the clouds to get from one to the other. There's no point trying to go high and fast when we've got a number of cities so close together. We'll see though. Depends on how low these clouds go. Well, we see an airport there. And I believe L-O-W-W -W is the main airport at Vienna. And Bratislava is right there, you can see on our map. Very short distance. Okay, 4,500 seems okay. Well, we've got some puffs down here too. Alright, we can finally see stuff. Well, this is how it looks when the SR-71 is going nearly 400 knots ground speed at 1,300 feet. Yep. Okay, I see the river. Ooh, I don't see myself on the map though. Alright, time to turn around. Okay, ooh, hill. We've got a hill here. Vienna is apparently not one of those nice flat cities. Ooh, I see some moving cars on the roadway, too. That's been a little bit infrequent. I think maybe they only appear when I'm below a certain velocity. I don't know what these towers correspond to, but this is the heart of Vienna, I believe. It's a little circle right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there aren't supposed to be trees on that stadium. Okay, and this is the Danube. This is the Danube River. Famous, beautiful blue Danube. I wonder how blue it really is right now. Hopefully still blue. Yes, this is L-O-W-W. -W. Um, wine... Sh oh, let's not. L-O-W-W -W is fine. It's a unique identifier. We'll just go with that. All right, passing right by, up the Danube River, river, and I guess Bratislava must be on the Danube as well. Yes, it is. And Budapest is too, so we'll just follow the Danube here. So we are now entering Slovakia, and we are close to Bratislava in Slovakia. I think that's the city right there. So, 
sort of built around this hill, isn't it? There's Bratislava. Oh no, uh, this is just the outskirts. It looks like uh, the main city is like right there. Okay, and we will continue following the Danube down to Budapest. So right now the Danube River is forming the, the border between Slovakia and Hungary. So on this side it's Hungary, on our left side it's Slovakia. Okay, well, it's getting a little bit harder to follow the Danube right now. We're at 1,200 feet, going 400 and, well, let's call it 500 knots. And I can barely see the river, actually. This is rough. Fortunately, frame rates are high. That's the, that's the plus side. I guess that's because we can't really see much. Does wonders for the frame rates. Okay, I can't see the river anymore. Let's just make a beeline to Budapest. Um, that's where the river turns south. So that's where it goes in. That's not it. No, that is it. Huh. Okay, Budapest Airport is off to one side. Budapest must be here. Okay, just a first. Whoa, whoa, let's not plunge into the terrain here. Just a little bit further north will do. Hmm, it's just it's just solid white right here. We're at two thousand feet. I don't think we're gonna get much of a look at Budapest, barring a miracle at this point. Okay, we can see some stuff here. Uh, we are approaching Budapest now. You can see right where we would encounter the Danube again is where Budapest is. You can see some airports there. Oh, let's keep it steady here. But it looks like the rain is going to clear up a little bit here. So we can see what's on the ground. Okay, here we are as we approach the river. I don't know what's going to be there. I think I don't have photo scenery here. I may or may not have photo scenery here right now. I'm certainly not gonna pass up the chance of flying by. Okay, so this is what Budapest looks like and I think there's just a stock scenery. Danube and there's a very distinctive island right here. This area is called District 13, ominously enough. Sure, there's probably some history behind that. There's definitely a circular pattern here. You can see uh, that roadway in particular, indicating that this is sort of central. But we don't have all the buildings. The photo scenery would help place those. Usually when you get uh, photo scenery with Ortho 4XP, you can, yeah, it automatically generates a little autogen scenery file. So that helps to place things. Alright, well anyway, can't see too much right now. Let's proceed on to Athens. Maybe if I go a little bit out of my way, I could give Sofia in Bulgaria uh, a flyover. I need to do some navigating for that. It's not in the most obvious location. There's, I don't see a river running through it in particular, which are... That's usually the best way to navigate. Okay, we've got Timmy Sora there and I can see that on the map that's in Romania it's a little bit hard to find uh, stuff I can hang my hat on right now and of course the terrain is now the stock terrain you could tell 
you can tell there's this dark terrain. And no mystery why I prefer getting the photo scenery from Ortho X 4XP. Not planning on getting any pay for additions for this, unless there's one exception if Aerosoft has the Hughes H1, which is which is a plane that I would very much like to fly around in. That's Belgrade. Okay, well, uh, that tells me where I'm going. I'm not gonna fly over Belgrade because it's a little bit out of the way if we're gonna fly over Sofia. Well, we're so high that you can get a huge view of the Danube. And can we even see Belgrade from here? Yeah, uh, sort of. I think. Yeah, right around here is where Belgrade is supposed to be, but I don't have any special scenery for it, again. Okay, so without the map in the way, though, we're now... we've descended quite a lot. Okay, Belgrade would be around here-ish, but we can't see it very distinctly. And there's the Danube we're fl flying over again on its way to the Black Sea. Well, we can totally see the clouds that are on the map here. They're right there. Yep. We are currently at 74,000 feet and descending. Just been oscillating up and down with really high amplitude. Okay, there's Sophia. Alright, we're headed right for it. But it's under the clouds. We'll have to see what we can do. Oh, uh, seems like there might be a gap. Okay, there is a gap. And a lot of hills. Okay, so somewhere... Okay, I better fly this properly, otherwise I'm going to be crashing into a hill. Very little margin between the hill and the clouds, isn't there? Okay, so, as I was saying, uh, Sophia seems to be over here. I guess if we follow this road, logically, if a road is this close to a major city, should be going to it, and there it is. Again, stock scenery right now. No photo scenery. So this is what it looks like stock, which is not bad, you know. Not bad at all. It's a respectable look for a city. No river though. But it's like surrounded by hills. There is a huge railway line here. Or at least that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, we probably should go up here, though. Need to turn south again. And it's basically straight south from here to Athens. Maybe there's just some clouds that are especially laggy or something. It's like super lag clouds, and then most other clouds are frame rate friendly. Maybe that's why the map is trying to warn us about them and shows the cloud layer. These are the super lag clouds. Avoid. That's why real pilots avoid clouds and thunderstorms and everything, right? Because of lag? Makes sense. be very uncomfortable for passengers to only experience life at uh, less than 10 frames per second.
Okay, we are about to proceed over the Aegean Sea. Uh, to our right is Thessaloniki. But I can't really see it right now because of the clouds, of course. We're going high and fast, 58,000 feet, 1,600 knots ground speed, and basically aimed right at Athens. We'll start descending soon. I think we're about 150 miles away from Athens right now. Tanagra. I didn't realize there was a Tanagra. There is apparently a Tanagra. Tanagra Vortac is there. Hmm. 6,000, 5,000. Okay, we're descending pretty quickly. Uh, oh, right, there's the coast. 3,200, 3,000. Oh, geez. Right. Uh, yeah, easy to forget. Greece, very bumpy. Greece is very bumpy. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. Not the smoothest place. Explains a lot about it. Yeah, quite a landscape. Very exciting this kind of weather. Well, there's apparently a runway here. Okay, that's me. That's not very helpful, game. Hold on, let me just avoid crashing into things. Uh, Megara. So, we just passed Megara over there. Headed over some islands here. It is a lot of fun flying over this terrain at high velocity. Okay, looks like we've got runways pointed northeast at Athens. We'll have to take a closer look. I don't know what that red thing is. Interesting. So this is Athens. The airport's a bit further out than everything else. Well, more precisely, the port is Piraeus, and then Athens is further inland along everything. I think this might, well, this might be Piraeus. Okay, well, there's lots of lag here. Is that mountain where uh, the Parthenon is? I mean, hill. Seems likely. I don't see the imprint of it though. One of these hills is the hill with the Parthenon, but I don't have, I can't access the map right now since I'm flying so low. That's got something on it. The Acropolis. When I, when I say the hill with the Parthenon on it, I mean the Acropolis. Like I said, it's been a while. Let's see if I could figure it out by cross-referencing with this map. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me avoid crashing myself into the terrain again. <sighs> so troublesome.
Okay, I think I have a reference to go by. Uh, if we follow this up here, that should be where the Parthenon is. We're going really fast, though. So, like, somewhere... I guess that road is leading... Sort of in the right direction. Yeah, I guess it's this hill here, but it's really tough to tell. I think that's the Acropolis. Yeah, well, this is where we need our three buildings placed so that we can be sure. Decent uh, flight simulator would have the Acropolis right there so that we could see it. Just saying. Anyway, I think it's time to land. I'm really pushing my luck with all these maneuvers. Ooh, that's a pretty convincing city center sort of thing. Okay, again, not wanting to crash into the hill. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, okay, well, no, it just rendered in. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should give it a... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I should definitely pass over and come about from the other side. I don't... After the last time where I obviously went too fast, I'm not feeling great about landing right here. Well, obviously not now. I have already made my decision. We're like 400, 300 feet above ground right now. Okay, I think I see a runway. No, maybe not. Uh, hmm. Well, gear down. Uh, yeah, that's a runway. But uh, the, what was uh, confusing me, not convincing me, confusing me is that the, the satellite or the photo scenery runway is offset from the, the scenery runway. So that's annoying. Oh boy. Ah, uh, there's a bit of a wind. I think. Or I'm just bad at this. Okay. Well, we're here at least. Whoa, what the heck is going on over there? Something something is definitely going on over there. Do you see that? Something is definitely going on over there. I don't know what. But alright. We, as usual, took the latter half of the runway. I wonder what that is. And we are here in Athens. Safely landed which is a relief because lots of weather going on and not so much a problem for the flying as much as it is a problem for maybe the game crashing, right? Seriously, what is... hold on. Look, look at that. Is there a plane there? Oh, it's a crazy X-15 is what's going on. Look at that. 
the only companion planes we seem to have around these days are X-15s, and it seems to be doing little corkscrew. I think it's stalled and it's just flying around. And of course it's going very fast and giving off a lot of exhaust because it's got powerful engines. Ah, interesting. Oh, oh, I see a little space there between all the big airliners. I'm going to take this one. So far I haven't blown a tire. Of course, I've been taxiing in the external view, which is, needless to say, easier. Okay, I really don't want to bonk that truck. Okay. Uh, I think it's clear. I think we're good. All right, so I'll park at Athens. And uh, next time, I'll have to pick between Istanbul and Cairo or try a path be you know, over both of them and then uh, proceed on from there. But right now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.